Hi, I'm Maddie. Welcome to your back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my bullet journal setup for 2020. This is definitely inspired by Amanda Rodley's 2019 bullet journal setup, but I modified it to fit my own personal needs and interests. And I highly suggest that you modify this video for your own personal needs and interests as well as everyone does not have the same and your bullet journal should be something that reflects what you need. And without further ado, let's get in with the video. All right, let's get started with this fresh new bullet journal for 2020. This is the exact same bullet journal that I had last year, just in a different color. I'll be sure to link it down below. To start off, I'm just doing the basic Hello 2020 um, spread. So I used a brush pen in black to write out the word hello, and then a fine liner to do a black outline of the 2020 and then used a lavender Crayola super tips pen to color in 2020 and I'll be using this purple pen throughout the whole thing. I wanted to do a black and white theme but I do not have any white gel pens to use so we went with a black and purple theme. Also used this banner style a lot throughout the theme. In here, I am just doing the 2020 at a glance page. This page might give you carpal tunnel, but it'll definitely be worth it. So for this one, I'm just drawing out a calendar for each month. And I kind of was stupid and messed up the spacing for May and August, but we just made it work. It looks a little weird, but it's all right. So honestly, I'm just like writing out the numbers and this is super boring but again it is definitely worth it for those of you that want to use the same supplies as me i will try my best to link everything down below if i can but it's just super basic stuff like i said crayola super tips and the micron fine liners are pretty much all that i use besides the black brush pen i also have tombow dual brush pens but i did not use them in this setup because um honestly like the colors that i have are very vibrant and I wanted a more toned down theme. I just, you know, wasn't looking for neon pink to be the theme, but those are also great pens if you have those to use them. I would also highly, highly, highly recommend sketching out your spreads in pencil first. This is what I did. I do this because when I video, I tend to get like nervous and having the pencil lines there help me stay on track. But honestly, even if I didn't video, I think I would still do this because it helps me not mess up. Because once you put it in pen, it's pretty much there, unless if you want to white it out. But then on these kind of yellow tinted pages, the white out's very obvious. So just a little tip for you. As you can see here, I'm just taking an eraser and erasing those guidelines I had put down for myself to clean it up and then taking that lavender Crayola Super Tips to add a colored border around the Sunday through Saturday border. I think this just makes it pop and stand out so you can notice where the days start and stop. The next um, page is a quote page and it says, this is the beginning of anything you want. So for this, I tried to make it as decorative as possible, but I'm not the best at lettering. So I just opted for some simple stuff, including the banner and the little scribbled color section. And then besides that, just trying to do some nice, neat lettering so it looks good and clean. I would just say that if you're not that confident in your drawing abilities, then just make it as simple as you can so it looks clean and therefore it'll look better than if you go for something super artistic and don't execute it very well. This next page is super helpful, would definitely recommend. It's a grid spacing cheat sheet. So for this, you're just going to write a number on every single one of the little dots going vertically and horizontally. And then you just do the math one time to figure out things such as half a page, 
third of the page and quarter of the page both horizontal and vertically so that way when you're doing spreads in the future you can be like oh okay it is nine dots to divide the page into thirds vertically and 20 dots to divide the page in half horizontally and it just makes it a lot quicker so you don't have to count and do the math you just have to figure out where that dot is on the page and it makes things go so much faster this is probably going to be one of the most useful pages you put in your bullet journal On the next page, I started doing my monthly layouts, I guess. So for this, I divided each page into thirds, and then I created the calendar for that month for each section. So for example, like on the top third of this page, I drew the calendar for January, and then wrote January above it. And then any really important events going on in January, I can right here so they're in a prominent location. I don't have to flip through my bullet journal to find it. I do versions of this in each monthly setup too, but I think just having the main events up front in your bullet journal is super helpful. So like I said, for this, you just want to recreate the calendar for that month. And again, I use that lavender marker to do the border on the Sunday through Saturday um, lettering at the top and then I also used it to highlight the name of the month and a little pro tip so it doesn't look dark I would let the ink dry completely before scribbling over it that was a mistake I made early on and it resulted in the highlight being like too dark and I just repeated this for every single month again you might get carpal tunnel but it'll be really helpful in the end After finishing this up, I went on to my 2020 goals page and I tried a different type of banner here. I think it turned out super cute and again, you know, it just says 2020 goals at the top. Imagine that. And then I did six boxes and the two at the bottom are smaller, but that is intentional. So the main four categories are fitness, school, personal, and YouTube. And then the two smaller boxes at the bottom are word of the year and by next year. So in the word of the year box, I'm just going to pick a word that I really want to try and focus on this year. I'm thinking about something along the lines of balanced or relaxation. And then by this time next year, I'm just going to put a few things I would like to accomplish by the end of the year that don't necessarily fall into one of these categories or kind of encompasses all areas. I haven't really decided yet, but I plan to make a separate video with my New Year's resolution slash 2020 goals. So keep an eye out for that one. On the next page, I'm doing a places I went so anytime I go somewhere, this is where I will write it. I think that it's great to track where you go each year and you can sort of go on a trip down memory lane when you reread it. For this, I opted for a very minimal spread. I created a box and divided it into destination or place, I guess, date and memory. So anytime I go somewhere, I will write it down when I went there and then a little something to remember the trip by. So that way when I look back on it, I won't be like, why did I go to Wyoming again? I'll remember, oh yeah, I went to Wyoming, my family, hiking, that sort of thing. 
over on the next page i'm doing a 2020 in blank spread so i chose four categories again movies tv shows books and music so this year anytime i read or watch something read watch or listen to something in that category then I will write it down if I really liked it. I figured there's no point writing it down if it wasn't something that I liked. And that way it can sort of be like, oh yeah, here's what I liked in 2020. Time for the final spread in this 2020 bullet journal setup and it is my YouTube ideas spread. So for the title, I decided to do this different kind of still banner style, but it's kind of like individual flags for the letters. And I knew as soon as I erased what letters I wanted to go in the flags, I would forget how it spaced out. And you better bet I did forget how it was spaced out. But it's okay, we made it work. So on the left hand side, those flags are going to say YouTube and have the YouTube play button and then the word ideas on the other page, obviously. And I sort of drew a line connecting them to make it look more like the banner style. And then I decided to add a little border around it to keep the ideas in a confined space. And now it is time for the 2020 bullet journal flip through. That's going to be all for today's video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what you plan to accomplish in 2020 and be sure that you're subscribed and have the bell turned on so you can be part of the hashtag eminem squad and i'll see you in my next video bye